Hello, everyone, and welcome back to our virtual Mishnah Burr share. We're holding Mishnah Burr Chalik Aleph, and we will be learning in today's share. Emir Tzashem Daf Lamed Amid Beis. Um, I just realized. Yeah, okay, we're going to be learning Daf Lamed Amid Beis. We begin with a brand new Simon, Simon Chaf Aleph. Kedos Malasis Petsitsiais Shenifsiku. The halacha of what must be done with tzitzis that become torn, yeshanim, and with old talesim, seifim, and here we have four seifim. And these are shilas that come up very very often. What do we do if we have tzitzis that have become ripped and they're no longer kosher? What do we do with a talus cotton that wears out? What do we do with an old talus that is worn out that's not being used anymore? And here in this simon we have these halachas, and these halachas also are negayed to other things as well. They're negayed to old schach, they're negayed to a sukkah, they're negayed to a lulav and esrig after yomtiv, they're negayed to a shoifer. So let's see what the halachas are over here. They're surprisingly complex. It's like when you do a, a, a light reading of the simon, it seems very, very simple, but it's not. There are a lot of interesting turns of phrase that, and in between the lines, there are some complexities. I think the first thing that we have to understand is when we look at tzitzits, what exactly are tzitzit strings? So it seems that the tzitzit strings themselves are what we would call tashmishe mitzvah. What are tashmishe mitzvah? Tashmishe mitzvah are articles that facilitate the fulfillment and the performance of a mitzvah. They're not kedusha. They're not um, tashmishe kedusha. They're not things that are inherently kadosh. For example, stam, right? Sevetayra, uh, tefillin, mezuzas. Tefillin have inherent kedusha. They have psukim written in them. They have shema yisakdoshim written in them. A sevetayra has inherent kedusha. A mezuzah has inherent kedusha. Tzitzit strings are not inherently kadosh. Tzitzit strings are an object, an article, that you use in the performance of a mitzvah. So to a lulav and an esrig. A lulav and an esrig are tashmishe mitzvah. They're objects that facilitate the performance of a mitzvah. You use the lulav to perform the mitzvah of dalad minim. You use the tzitzit strings to tie them onto the beged to be mekayim the mitzvah of dalad kanfais, the mitzvahs of tzitzits. A shoifer. A shoifer is not inherently kadosh. It's the horn of an animal. It's not inherently kadosh, but is an it's an object that you use to perform the mitzvah of shoifer. So, so these are tashmishe mitzvah. Now, once we understand that these tashmishe mitzvah are do not have inherent kedusha, so now we could begin to have a discussion. What do we do with them when they're no longer going to be used for the mitzvah? Once they're not going to be used for the mitzvah anymore, are they still tashmishe mitzvah? Do we still have to treat them in a bakavatika manner? Or can we do whatever we want with them? So let's take a look here at the Makara. It says the Makara Sif Aleph. Chute tzitzitz shenifsiku. The strings of tzitzitz that have torn off. Yachal lezarkon laashpa. The Makara says you could throw them in the garbage. So you're, you're walking with your talus. Somebody steps on your tzitzit strings in shul, and he tears off one of the strings. Now, we're not discussing whether or not it's still kosher, whether it's not kosher, but the bottom line is, now you have a loose tzitzit string. What's the halakha of that loose tzitzit string? Well, it doesn't have inherent kedusha. There's no kedusha to that tzitzit string. And is that torn off tzitzit string still royal mitzvah? No. It's not oimid mitzvah. You're not going to use it for a mitzvah anymore. So the truth is, it's not a tashmish mitzvah anymore. It's no longer something that could be used for the mitzvah. And therefore, says the Mechaber, Yocha lezark on lashba. The Mechaber says you could throw it in the garbage. And the Mechaber explains, he says, why? Mipnei shehi mitzvah she'en begufa kedusha. Because it is a tashmish shal mitzvah. It's something that's used in the performance of a mitzvah. But, ain begufa kedusha, it is not kadosh. There's no kedusha inherent to the tzitzit string. 
Says the Mishnah Bura over here is cut now. And the Mishnah Bura expands this halach, he extends it to other Tashmisha mitzvah as well. Vahuadin, Lachal Tashmisha mitzvah. Says the Chavetz Chaim, this same halacha would apply to all Tashmisha mitzvah. Kigon, for example, sukkah. You have a sukkah. <clears throat> you have the schach of a sukkah, maybe the walls of a sukkah. It's a Tashmish of mitzvah. Now, when we talk about schach, I want to kind of differentiate for the moment, just to make it simpler, between, let's say, bamboo poles and schach mats. Those are types of schach that are going to be roi and oimid le mitzvah even after Yom Tov. Even when Yom Tov is over, the schach is still schach. You're going to put it away and you're going to use it for next year. So it's a roi and it's oimid le mitzvah. You're, you're, it's still a Tashmish mitzvah. Right now it's not the Zman of the mitzvah, but that schach is still a Tashmish mitzvah. Let's go back to old-fashioned schach, where somebody built a sukkah, and he went to the park, and he found some branches that were cut down, or some reeds, and he was going to throw that on top of his sukkah to be schach. That schach, after sukkah is done, that schach is done with. It's over. You're not using that schach again. It's not roi v'ayim le mitzvah anymore. So, says the Mishnah when we talk about the halacha of a tzitzit string that tore off, a tzitzit string that tore off is a tashmish mitzvah, and it's not usable, it's not usable anymore for the mitzvah. You're not going to use it anymore for the mitzvah. So, says the Mishnah that we can extend this to other things too. Kigain sukkah, like a sukkah that's not going to be used for a sukkah anymore. Velulav, or a lulav. That's not going to be used anymore. Vishoifer, or a shoifer that's not going to be used anymore. Vichol kahai gavna, or anything else of this nature. And here are the key words. Laachar shenis batlu, after they have become bottle. What does that mean they became bottle? So again, the tzitzit string that tore off. It's now bottle mi mitzvasai. It's not going to be used for the mitzvah anymore. The schach of a sukkah that is now essentially garbage because you're not going to reuse it. It's not reusable schach. A shoifer that, let's say, became puzzle. You have a shoifer. It was a perfectly good shoifer. Maybe you even used it for the mitzvah on Rosh Hashanah. But now it cracked. It split. It broke in half in such a way that it's not usable for the mitzvah anymore. So it is nispatel bi mitzvah. It's not going to be used for the mitzvah anymore. So again... It's a Tashmish, it was a Tashmish Shal Mitzvah. But now it's not even really a Tashmish Shal Mitzvah anymore. It's not going to be used for the Mitzvah. So look at the words of the Mishnah Anything, V'chal Kahai Gavna, anything similar to this tzitzit string that got tore off, that's not going to be used as tzitzit anymore, La'achar Shenis Batlu, after they have become bottle from the Mitzvah, they're not going to be used for the Mitzvah anymore. Ve'enam oimdim oid le Mitzvahsam, they're not going to be used for the mitzvah anymore. Says the Mishnah Baruch Hu, the, the, the case of the Mechaber was a tzitzit string that tore off. The Mishnah Baruch Hu extends that to another case, a little bit of a chiddish. He says, Oi, shehi tiran me'atalus. Or, if you untied the tzitzit strings from the Beged. So, you untied them. They're not tzitzits anymore. And they're not, you're not using them for a mitzvah anymore. They're not tzitzits. Or, if you got tzitzit strings, they're tzitzit strings, they were made lishma, they were made l'shem mitzvah tzitzit, but you never attached them to a beged. Those also have no inherent kedusha, and you're allowed to throw them in the garbage. They're not tzitzit strings. It's true that they were made lishma, maybe they were cut to the proper size, but they're not tzitzit strings. You never used them for the mitzvah. Why? Dazman alav milsi. Because a simple act of preparing it for tzitzitz does not make it a tashvish shal mitzvah yet. Said the mechaber, yachal azark lashpa. You could throw them in the garbage. Eyes cut and gimel. Avol also lasis bem tashvish biguna. But you are not allowed to use this this former tashvish shal mitzvah. You can't use it for a tashvish biguna. You can't use it for something degrading. Because we see that that's the halacha even by the beged 
of a talus after it's worn out, you're not allowed to use it for something degrading. So, yeah, you these tashmishe mitzvah, once they're not roi and oimid for the mitzvah anymore, you could throw them out. You can't use them for a tashmish meguna. So, if you have a uh, face, you know, okay, t- uh, strings. You had tzitzit strings. They, they ripped off. Or you untied them from the beged, and they're not going to be tzitzits anymore. So, yeah, the Mechaber says you can throw them out. But could you use them to tie up your recycling? That's probably a tashmish meguna. Can you use something that was used as, as chach? Could you now use it to dig in your backyard? That's probably a tashmish meguna. So that you can't do. So, what's the first halacha that we see over here? We have these tashmishe mitzvah that do not have inherent kedusha. So again, used tzitzit strings that are no longer going to be used as tzitzit strings, a shoifer that became puzzle, schach that's done with, you're not going to use it anymore. So these items were used for a mitzvah. They're no longer going to be used for a mitzvah. So the Mechaber said, you're allowed to throw them out. They don't need geniza. They're not shamus. They could be thrown out, says the Mechaber. The Chavetz Chaim said, yes, you can throw them out, but you cannot use them in a degrading fashion. You can't use them for a tashmish meguna. That you cannot do. Now, now we go on to the second halacha. Says the Mechaber, Avol, second line down, Avol, however, calls man shehem kivuim batalis, while the tzitzit strings are still affixed to the talus. Now, mind you, it sounds from the Mechaber very much, it doesn't matter if you're wearing the talus or you're not wearing the talus. You have a, a talus cotton, you have a talus gadol, it's kosher, it has tzitzit strings attached to it. So right now, they're, they're tashmishe mitzvah that are ready to be used for the mitzvah. You're not allowed to use them for a tashmish shel choyl. For example, likshar behem shum davar, to tie something with it. You have, uh, you know, you're, you're, you're wearing your talus cotton, you have your tzitzits out, and now you have a little bag of something that you want to tie closed. And it doesn't necessitate cutting the string off the tzitzits or anything else. You're going home and you want to keep this bag tied closed while you go home. So, oh, I got, sure, I got a string right here. I'll take a string, I'll tie the bag closed, and I'll stick it in my pocket. That's a tashmish shel choyl. So you're using, a ta- you're using tashmish mitzvah, which are usable for the mitzvah right now. Right now, the mitzvah tzitzit strings. And you want to use it for a tashmish shel choyl? That you're not allowed to do. Says the Mechaber again, Avon calls man shem kfuam batalus. While tzitzits are attached to a talus, also lehishtamish behem, you're not allowed to use them. Kigoy liksha behem shom davar v'kiyotzebaze. For example, to use the tzitzit strings to tie something or some other similar type of usage, you're not allowed to do that. Mishum bizoy mitzvah, because that would be a bizoy mitzvah. You you have tzitzit strings. That's a mitzvah, right? Now you're using it as a string, using it as bakery string to tie up a box. To tie clothes, to tie a bag closed? You're not allowed to do that. Based on this, I even question there are some people who like to like play with their tzitzit strings. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if that's really something which should be done. It's not a toy. It's not something that's supposed to be used for a for tashmishe chayl. It's a ta- it's tashmishe mitzvah. We don't you don't do tashmishe chayl with tashmishe mitzvah. <clears throat> Says the Mishnah is cut and down, Kvuim Batalus. While they're attached to the talus, says the Chavetz Chaim, I feel you may love a batalus. Even if you're not wearing the talus, but the tzitzit strings are attached to the talus, that's a mitzvah begin. That's that's a Tashvishal mitzvah. You 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 use that to perform a mitzvah. So you don't use it for a Tashvishal Chayl. If it's Kvarnis Batlu, if the tzitzit's ripped and they're no longer going to be used, or if you removed the tzitzit strings and they're no, no longer going to be used. So it was formally Tashmishe Mitzvah. It was used for a mitzvah in the past. 
Then the Mechaber said, you're allowed to throw it out. It, it would seem that you're even allowed to use it for Tashmish Echoyl. You know, because we said you're not allowed to use it for a Tashmish Meguna. Chavetz Chaim said you can't do a Tashmish Meguna with it. But Tashmish Echoyl, it sounds like Tashmish Echoyl, you could use technically according to the Mechaber. So you have a tzitzit string that ripped off. It's no longer going to be used for tzitzit. You want to use that to tie something closed? Sounds like that you could do, as long as it's not a tashmish beguna. So again, according to the Mechaber, it's nisbatl from the mitzvah. You could throw it in the garbage. It sounds like you could use it for tashmish echoyl. You're not allowed to use it for tashmish beguna. While it's still attached to the talus, now it's a tashmish mitzvah. It not, it's not that it was tashmish mitzvah in the past. It's Tashmish Mitzvah now. You could use it right now to be Mekayim the Mitzvah. Go make a bracha, put on the talus. Put on the talus cotton, you're performing a mitzvah. So it's a roy for the mitzvah now. In that case, you're not allowed to use it for Tashmish Echoel. Continues to Mishnah Burr, nice cotton doll, Vafil Balaila. This is even true at night, where according to the Rambam, night is not as man tzitzitz. So you might say at night, maybe it's not considered Tashmish Mitzvah. No, it is. Because again, this is a Tashmish Mitzvah now. Maybe you're not going to wear it at night to be Mekayim the Mitzvah because of the Rambam, but tomorrow morning you're going to put it on and you're going to be Mekayim the Mitzvah. The Schach, which is Schach that you're going to use next year, it's very nice that it's a week after Sukkot. So right now, you can't use these bamboo poles for a Mitzvah. But what are they? They're Tashmish Mitzvah. You're, putting, you're going to put it away and you're going to use it next year. So don't take it out to your backyard to dig a hole. It's Tashwisha Mitzvah. You don't use Tashwisha Mitzvah for Tashwisha Chayl. Sometimes you see kids, you know, when you put up the sukkah, you have extra poles that's sitting around the backyard. The kids stop taking them, playing with them, balancing them on their hands, on their, on their noses, or they go run around with them, they play with them in the backyard. Lechayra, that would be forbidden. L'chayr, that's also. These are Tashmish Mitzvah. They're Roy V'aymid L'mitzvah. You're not allowed to use it for Tashmish Echayl. Continues the Chavetz Chaim. V'chein Shoifer Nami, Afil L'lacha Rosh Hashanah. A Shoifer after Rosh Hashanah. Tashmish Mitzvah. I don't know. I've seen people pick up a Shoifer and try to play uh, Yankee Doodle Dandy, you know, in a Shoifer. That's, that's not... Uh, it, it sounds to me like Tashmish Echoyl. You're, you're taking the shofar and you're using it to blow music. That's Tashmish Echoyl. That's Tashmish Echoyl. You're not allowed to do Tashmish Echoyl. You're not allowed to take your talus and use it as a tablecloth. Right? Because it's Tashmish Mitzvah. You're being Mavaza the Mitzvah. The shofar is Tashmish Mitzvah. You use it to stamp play some Yankee Doodle Dandy on it. That's Mavaza the Mitzvah. The chain lulav yashan says the Chavetz Chaim an old lulav. Im oim den adayin lemitzvah l'shana haba. Remember, in in years gone by, when it was hard to get dal minim, they put away a lulav to use it again next year, because technically speaking, you could preserve a lulav from year to year. Yavesh, the degree of yavesh. Remember, we learned the halachas of yavesh has to be white, right? It cracks. So the the degree of yavesh for a lulav yashan. To become considered yasha that it can't be used, that bar is pretty high. So they used to put away a lulav and use it for next year. So it says the Chavetz Chaim, a lulav yasham, im aimden adayin lemitzvah l'shan haba, aser lehishtamesh b'hen. Now let it use it. And why is this? Mishum bizei mitzvah. This is all because of bizei mitzvah. Vayin b'bir alacha. Bir alacha over here is an interesting, um, an interesting discussion about things like sukkah and lulav. After the Zman, the Magad Avram, and the Taz, the Taz is much more makel, but we don't go with the Taz. So all of these Tashvishe Mitzvah, even after Sukkot, even after Rosh Hashanah, the Shofar after Rosh Hashanah, you're not allowed to use them for a Tashmish Shalchoyl, while they're still Tashvishe Mitzvah. You're not allowed to use them. So the Chavetz Chaim brings up an interesting question. We know that uh, noy sukkah are muktza, right? It's set aside for a mitzvah. They're muktza, you're not allowed to use them. But we learned that Hilcha sukkah, you're allowed to make a tanai. What's the tanai? 
So the tenai is, you know, you take a jar of flour and you hang it up from the schach. You take honey, you hang it up from the schach, and you say, you make it tenai. Any bidel me I'm not. I'm not. No, I'm not designating it for a mitzvah. I'm not separating myself from it. So you say up front that jar of honey that I hung from the schach. I'm not designating it as noy sukkah and removing my and removing it from my ability to use it. No, if I want a tea, I'm going to dip in a spoon into that jar of honey and I'm going to make myself a tea. And the tanai works. You're allowed to make such a tanai. How about by tzitzitz? Can you make a tanai by tzitzitz? No, I'm, I'm, yeah, it's, it's tashvish mitzvah, but I'm making a tanai that I should be able to use it. Says the Mishnah Bura, no. Well, but tzitzitz, lo'ma'ani tanai. You can't make a tanai. Ba'aymer ain't ibaydal mehen. I'm not going to separate myself from the tzitzitz. Kamei b'tafrei shlam etches siv beis, like by noy sukkah, where you could say I'm not going to separate myself from it. Why doesn't it work by tzitzitz? Mishum de bizay mitzvah. Because over here it's bizay mitzvah. The tzitzitz al karchach behechrich l'shem mitzvah soisa. Because the tzitzitz are clearly tashvish mitzvah. De mevarech aleyan lihis atef. <laughs> you make a brach on it. By making that bracha, you're clearly making a verbal statement that this is a Tashri Shal Mitzvah. In Cain, you can't go make a Tanai and say, I'm not separating myself. How does the Tanai work by Noi Sukkah? The Tanai works by Noi Sukkah. You see I'm hanging up a, a jar of honey on the schach. So it might look like I'm separating that honey for Noi Sukkah. I'm designating it for a mitzvah, and therefore I'm separating myself from it. If I separated myself from it, now it's muktza. Kamash malon the tanai, the tanai says, no, I'm not separating myself. It's true that I hung it up on the schach, and I hung it up on the schach because I wanted to beautify my sukkah, but at the same time that I want to use it to beautify my sukkah, I'm reserving the right to stick in a, a, a spoon, a teaspoon, and use it in my tea. And there's nothing wrong with doing that. But by tzitzitz, you can't do that. Because by tzitzitz, by making a verbal declaration of a bracha, now it is inherently tashvish mitzvah. By making a bracha on it, you, you have stated that it is designated for the mitzvah. So in that case, you can't make it tonight. Okay. So, so far, we have over here in the Mechaber, two halachas. The Tashvish Mitzvah, after their Nizbatl from the Mitzvah, when they're no use, longer usable or going to be used for the Mitzvah, now you could, you could throw them in the garbage. You could use them for Tashvish Chayl. The Chavetz Chaim said, Tashvish Beguna, you can't use it for a Tashvish Beguna, because to use it for a Tashvish Beguna, that's being mavaza the mitzvah that you did with it in the past. So you don't take something that you used for a mitzvah and you use and use it for a tashmish beguna. But to use it for tashmish chayl, you're allowed to. To throw it in the garbage, the Mechavah said you're allowed to. Now comes the Ramah. Says the Ramah. There are those that say, that even after the tzitzit's tear, Ain linoig behad minig bizayan, you're not allowed to be noyig minig bizayan, you're not allowed to treat them in a degrading fashion. Forget using it for a tashmish beguna. You're not allowed to treat it in a degrading fashion, lizarkan bemakai maguna. The Ramah seems to be arguing with the Mechaber. The Mechaber said you could throw it in the Ashba. Says the Ramah, no, you can't throw it in the Ashba. To throw it in the ashbra is to throw it in a Maka Maguna. Ella, she'en on tzrikin geniza. You don't have to treat it like shamus. You don't, it's not tzark geniza. You don't have to put it away in an oifen of covered. But you're also not allowed to treat it in a degrading fashion by throwing it in the garbage. So what could you do? You could leave it around. And if it gets thrown out by itself, it'll get thrown out. That's what the Mishnah Bura says. The Mishnah Bura says, <coughs> uh, let's let's go in order. First, let's see um, Mishnah Bura is cut and vav. Ain linig behen. You shouldn't be noyeg minig And again, the Mishnah Bura extends this to other items. 
וכן בשכח הסוכה ולולב ושופר לאחש אין אספתלו ממצווסן אין לזרקן לאשפה. So too, the schach that you used, if you used tree branches and this and that, which are not going to be used again next year, you're not allowed to go put them by the curb, says the, the Mishnah. No, you don't, you, don't, you, you don't throw them in the ashpa. That's bizarre. You don't just throw it in the garbage. A shoifer is puzzle, says the Ramon, you don't toss it in the, tra- in the trash. The Mechavah said, you can. You can throw it out. You, you can't use it. For a Tashmish Maguna, but you can throw it out. The Ramah says, no. The Shafer became possible. You can't throw it out. Ain Luzarka Lashba. The Chol Kai Gavna, or any such similar thing. Davar She'enai, Davar She'enai, Kavayid Lemitzvah She'avra. The Chol, I think you would put the comma after the word Davar. The Chol Kai Gavna Davar. Anything else. Similar to these items, she ain't a covered limit to shavra, because it's not a covered for the mitzvah that you are mekayim with that thing. You used it to be mekayim a mitzvah. You used these tree branches for your schach. Every day of sukkah, you went into the sukkah, you made a bracha, you looked up to make sure that I'm sitting in a good spot, and you made a bracha. You 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 shook your little an esrig in the sukkah. Now you're gonna take that schach and you're gonna put it by curb. Can't do that, says the Ramah. So what do you do? Put it in the backyard. Just put it out in the backyard somewhere. Now what happens if the landscaper comes and he collects it and he throws it out? That's okay. The Mishra is going to say that right now. First, let's finish ice cut and vav. The cost of our prima gondam, the nochen shalalasa is tashvish maguna filu mitfani sasukah. You shouldn't use even the walls of the sukkah, which according to many have a lesser degree of, so to speak, kedusha, of chashivus, than the schach, Shouldn't use them for a Dover Maguna. Ice cut in Zion, Lizarkon. The, the Ramah said, you're not knowing Gaminic Bizarin Lizarkon to throw them out in the trash. You don't put them by the gerb. Ritzayna Lime Rabbi Yadayim, Asr. Chavitz Chaim says to go yourself with your hands and throw them in the garbage, to go put them by the curb. You don't do that. Lizarkon Lashba. Ach, in Mitaik Shaloy Gnazam. If by virtue of the fact that you didn't you know, wrap them up and put them away like Seamus. You didn't put them in Geniza. Nizraku Memela, if Memela they get thrown out. So in other words, you took your sukkah apart and you took the schach and, and you stacked it in the backyard. You left it there. Now the landscaper came and he cleaned up, he did the cleanup and he cleaned up the yard and he threw it in the garbage. Ain't lachish Now you don't have to worry about. Ice cut chesla gunzan. Kosov, that we didn't do yet. So again, so here we saw the Ramah. The Ramah says something that was Tashmishe Mitzvah, strings that were used as tzitzits, even though they're not going to be used as tzitzits anymore, tree branches that were used as schach, even though they're not going to be used as schach anymore, a shoifer that was used for the Mitzvah of shoifer, even though now it became puzzle and it's not going to be used anymore. The Mechabah said you could throw it out. The Ramah said no. You can't throw it out. It doesn't need geniza, but you can't throw it out. If you leave it laying around in Memele, it gets thrown out. The Chavetz Chaim said, Ein lochush lozeh. Now we have another shita. V'yesh medaktikin, there are those that are very careful, l'gunzan, to taka put these things in geniza. V'hamachmer, u'medaktik b'mitzvahis, tava yalav bracha. And the Ramah says, those are medaktik b'mitzvahis, Tava Yalov Bracha. If you treat the, the mitzvahs with great respect and you talk and take these items and put them in Geniza, Tava Yalov Bracha. Says the Mishnah Rai's Ches, Kos of Ma'aril, the Aniach HaTzitzis Pesach HaSefer L'Simen, Aylasa Yispeh Mishum Mitzvah. You have a tzitzit string that rips off, put it in a sefer and use it as a bookmark. It doesn't mean that when, when you're, that your svarim at home should be full of torn off tzitzit strings because you take torn off tzitzit strings and put them in a safer. That might even be usser because you're using a safer as a storage facility. And that's, that's, that's not a covenant for the safer. What it means is to use the tzitzit string as a bookmark because if you're using the tzitzit string as a bookmark in a safer, then you're using it for a mitzvah. So it's something that was used for a mitzvah and now you're using it for another mitzvah. That's a mila. To just stick it in a safer is not a mila. 
Okay. So again, so far, what do we have over here? You have your leftover schach after Sukkot. That's not going to be used as schach ever again. It's done with. It's stuff that falls apart. What do you do with it? Put it in the backyard somewhere. Stack it somewhere. Should you put it by the curb? No, you should not put it by the curb. Tzitzit string rips off. Do you throw it in the garbage? No, you don't throw it in the garbage. What do you do? You can't throw it in a, in a, in a muck. You can't treat it. Beminik bazillion. Stick it in a drawer. Yeah, you have use for a bookmark? Use it as a bookmark. Uh, a shoifer becomes puzzle. I don't know what to tell you to do with it. P- put it away somewhere. Put it in the attic. Put it in the basement. Okay. And then we have this yesh pedaktikin that you tack and put it in Geniza, but that's only a yesh pedaktikin. Okay. Says the Mecharisiv base. So far we were talking about the tzitzit strings. Now we're going to talk about the talus itself. Talus, talus cotton. Says the Mechavah, Talisa Yishal Mitzvah Shebalu. A talus that was used for the mitzvah that wore out. What do you do with it? Says the Mechavah, Adam Beidel Atzmai Mehem. A person should separate himself from them. Ve'enoi Mutal Lekaneach Atzmai Bahem. It is not permissible to use it as a shmata. Lekaneach Atzmai does not mean after using the facilities. That would certainly be a derech bezayin. Certainly you would not be allowed to do that. He's talking over here more using it as a shmata. Lekaneach Atzmai Bahem. To wipe your feet. To, to wipe off your clothing. To use it as a rag. To use it as a shmata. So a person should not do that. Nor should you use it for something degrading. El or rather, what should you do? Zarkon. Throw them away somewhere. Behem kalim. And they will degrade and they will uh, disintegrate. So it's interesting. So again, in Sif Aleph, we spoke about the Tashmishe mitzvah themselves. The tzitzit strings. The shoifer. The talis is a lesser madrega. The talis is the beged that the tzitzits are attached to. So that's a notch down. By the tzitzit strings, the Mechaber said, if they become this bottle, they're not going to be used for the mitzvah anymore, you could throw it out. Certainly, a tashbish shall chayl, it seems that you could use it for. A tashbish begunner, you can't use it for. Now we're talking about the talus that wore out. So over here, the uh, Mechaber again, at the end, he says, zarkon, sounds like you could, you could throw them out. For him, call him. But you can't use it in a degrading fashion. You can't use it as a rag. Says the Mishnabura, ice cut and test, Shabalu. I am the prima god of Shakasav. The Tal shall miss for Shinisku Tsitsi Aisav. Layasi be men of You have a talus that's not going to be used as a talus anymore. The tits were taken off. You can't take that fabric and, st- and stitch it up and use it as underwear. To who beklal Tashish Beguna? That would be a Tashish Beguna. That would even be also from a talus cotton. Ice cotton yud ve'enay mutter kein sarich loymar. There was another girsa, but the proper girsa is what we have ve'enay mutter. Ice cotton yud alaf lekaneach ritzayne loymar. I feel lekaneach atit me al ragli. You want to use it as a rag to clean off your feet. You're not allowed to do that. Ice cotton yud beis hamaguna avol she'enay maguna shari. But for a tashrish shall chayil. That, you're allowed to use the talus. You're no longer going to use it as a talus. The tzitzit strings were taken off. You're not going to use it as a talus anymore. So for, so now you could use it for like a tashvish shel choyl, a tashvish she'ena maguna. So I guess technically you'd be allowed to spread it out over a table. Now here's an interesting question. It says the Chavaz Chaim, tzitzit's olav. How about when you have a talus that does have strings? And this is something that I've seen. You ever see somebody clean his glasses with his talus? It's Shabbos. He's sitting at Shul. It's a meal with Kriya Satyra. He's having trouble seeing the Chumash clearly. He wants to clean his glasses. He uses his talus to clean his glasses. It's not a Tashvish Maguna because you use your shirt to, to, to clean your glasses. I don't think somebody would use his shirt for a Tashvish Maguna, a shirt that he uses, a shirt that he wears, right? So I wouldn't call it a Tashvish Maguna 
but it is a tafir shel choyl. It's a, you're using it as a, a as a cleaning cloth to clean the glasses. Is that okay? So it says the Chavetz Chaim, "Ba'ida tzitzitz olav." While the tzitzitz are on the talus, "Im rashoy lehistamish ba talus tashvish she'ena magunah." Are you allowed to use the talus for a tashvish shel choyl, a tashvish she'ena magunah? Dasa oilas tamid is the opinion of the oilas tamid the shari that it's mutter. The dafka betzitzitz oisar amachaber b'sif aluf because the mechaber only answered a tashvish shel choyl by tzitzitz themselves. He didn't answer, uh, he said that by tzitzitz, when the tzitzitz are attached to a talus, also lehishtamish ban. But that's the tzitzit strings. He didn't say that the talus you're not allowed to use for a tash choyl. So it sounds like you're allowed to use the talus itself for a tash choyl, even while it's still a talus. That's the opinion of the Allah's Tamid, but continues the Chavetz Chaim, ula taz oser. But according to the taz, it would be forbidden. The chain hiskim at pribagadim, and the pribagadim agrees with the taz. The kasev and he writes the talus shall tefila that a talus that you wear by davening a talus gadol hamiyuchad lekach, which is a begad shal mitzvah that's set aside for davening. Chamer hatalus kamayatzitzitz. The talus is just as chamer as the tzitzitz. The same way you're not allowed to use tzitzit strings, good tzitzit strings that are on a talus. We said you're not allowed to use them for a tashvish shal chayil. You're not allowed to use the talus beged for a tashra shel choyl either. So you're not allowed to use it to clean your, 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 your glasses off. You're not allowed to use it to, to grab and use it to, to, you know, help wipe something off your suit. You're not allowed to use a talus shel mitzvah, according to the taz, you're not allowed to use a talus shel mitzvah for a tashra shel choyl. Aval talus katan, but your talus katan, pshita de shari l'chal tashvish she'ena maguna. Talus cotton you're allowed to use for any tashvish shel choyl as long as it's not a tashvish beguna. I feel about it tzitzitz alav even while it has tzitzitz on it and while you're wearing it. The hal levush hedyit who because the talus cotton is considered a levush hedyit. That's just a four corner garment that you wear, and because it's a four corner garment, you have to put tzitzitz on it. Mashiach came the talus gadol miyuchad litfila, so that raises up the talus gadol. So you want to clean your glasses with your talus gadol aser. You want to clean the glasses with your towels cotton, that would be mutter. We're going to see you're allowed to sleep at night wearing your towels cotton, which you're not allowed to do with a towels gadol. Ice cotton, your gimel, zarkon, the Mishnah Bura said the towels that wore out, you can throw it away. You throw it in, in the garbage. See, here it's interesting. Again, in Sefalif, the Mechaber said that the tzitzit strings that are no longer tzitzits, you're allowed to throw them in the garbage. You're allowed to throw them in the ashpa. The Ramah said, no, no, you, you don't throw them in the ashpa. You can't treat them in a, in a, in a, in a, in a, in a dika fashion. Ain linog behen minig bezayim, lazarkim amakum aguna. But over here in Sif Bays, where we're talking about the talus, not the tzitzits. Over here, the, the Mechara says, Zarkon, you could throw them into the Ashba. And the Ramah doesn't argue over here. El Zarkon vehem kalim. Again, says the Mishnah word, Zarkon, which said, Alam al Ashba. Vafilu a Yeshimim anal dais of its gufa. Even the Yeshimim, even the Yeshimim brought down to the Ramah, who said that by <coughs> tzitzits, you're not allowed to throw them in the garbage. Mashba de moida baze. The implication is that by a talus, he's moida. That a talus, really, you could throw out. Okay, we're going to stop over here. Thank you so much for joining me for Leaving Our Exclusive Leaving Our to Remain like I was Klai Yisrael. Remember, Shabbat Shalom, said Yeshua's voice, Panasa, to do to all those in need. We should be Zaycha to see the Bias God Sedek. Bemherev Yamenu, Amen. Be well. I might try to record a second share yet today uh, to make up for yesterday's uh, lack of a share. Thank you so much. Be well.